It is good to be back for another week of Women in Sports. And today we start with the North Scott girls basketball team. But we're not going to the hardwood. Check this out. The Lady Lancers took to the store for their annual cart race. The event provides food for the North Scott Food Pantry. And this is the 11th year the North Scott girls have held the cart races. 11 teams of four took their turns running through the aisles of the Eldridge Hy-Vee, filling their shopping cart with as much non-perishable food as they could in two minutes. And there is still time to vote for this week's Midwest Technical Institute score standout. There are two local ladies on the list this time. First up is Newman's Jess Johns. She had a big night against Mendota this weekend. Johns not only scored 20 points, she also recorded nine rebounds and nine steals. Over on the Iowa side of the river, Central DeWitt's Lauren Walker is putting up some big numbers as well. The junior seeing 23 points in the Sabres win versus West. You can vote for this week's MTI score standout by following the link on the sports page at WQAD.com or go to Twitter X at Cuff underscore sports to cast your vote. Polls are open until tomorrow at noon. Well, just a few hours ago, the Illinois High School Association approved sanctioning girls flag football. The season will run from mid-August to the end of November. Now, there has been flag football in the state leading up to this. Since 2021, I didn't know this, the Chicago Bears have served as the sports organizing body. There are more than 100 high school girls flag football teams across Illinois. And turning to college basketball, also just a few hours ago, Caitlin Clark was named the co-sporting news athlete of the year along with Angel Reese. But before that happened, she put on a show this weekend, all in front of a hometown crowd in Des Moines. The Hawkeyes took on Cleveland State in the Hy-Vee Hawkeye Showcase. The women playing for a sold out crowd at Wells Fargo Arena. And it was almost all threes from Clark who walked away with a 38 point game and nine three pointers. This game would end 104-75 with Iowa on top.